Hello everyone, my name is Richard Price. I'm with High Tech Battery Solutions. And today I'm going to show you how to fill your own AGM motorcycle battery that you purchased from us. Um, this battery we're filling today is going to be a UTZ-10S-BS. And there's going to be a few things you're going to need first. First of which is going to be a pair of gloves. And the second is going to be a pair of uh, either glasses or safety glasses to protect your eyes in case of an accident happening with the battery acid. So let's take a look at the battery itself. everything here. Ass is going to come in a plain white box. Let's go ahead and open that up. It's going to be contained inside of a sealed plastic container like so. If you see here the caps for the actual battery are going to come inside of here. So what we're going to do remove the plastic wrap. Put the caps inside of the box so you don't lose them and then remove the foiling from the top of the battery here. Okay. So as you can probably guess, you're going to line these holes up with the holes in the battery here. What it's going to do is actually going to punch this tin foil here and it's going to pour the acid into the battery. The process could take some time to actually get into the battery from the plastic container. So allow it a few minutes at the very least. I'd recommend sitting here and holding it while it is filled. So just like that, you can see the bubbles happen in here. Uh, we're going to forward through this part of the process, but just make sure you're holding on to this while it's fully filling. Okay, once the acid is drained out of the acid pack into the battery, we can go ahead and remove the acid pack from the top here. And now we're going to go ahead and cap the battery. Now, it's normal for this battery to feel a little warm right now. The acid you just put in it was actually positively charged, so it's going to go ahead and start charging the battery as soon as it hits the plates. So it's going to create a little bit of heat there. All right, so you take your plastic caps, line them up on the top of the battery here. It's going to require a little bit of pressure from you. You might want to put a little bit of weight behind it. But you just get them started. Start from one end, work your way over to the other. Once you've got them all started, I'd recommend using the hammer from this point down. You want them to be flush with the battery. So the caps need to be flush with the battery. You should be able to run your thumb across it and not feel any ridges. All right. There you go. When you're hammering it in, you don't have to go crazy on it. Uh, just a few taps on each cap should push it down all the way. And once you're finished putting the cap on, it's time to charge this battery. Adding the battery acid to it will only get it to about half charge, maybe a little bit less, depending on the size. So it's recommended that you hook a battery charger up to it, preferably a trickle charger, 